Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And um, as my little sign says, this is the last haul and giveaway that I have for 2018. So I figured doing a giveaway for one of my last videos of 2018 uh, would be a good way to close out the year on my channel. So I have a ginormous haul from Ulta and other places and then I also have a giveaway and then um, some PR so I'm going to start off with one PR thing and then I'm going to go into some Ulta and then I will end the video and close out with the giveaway item so the first thing I have is from Coda Lee and this um, kit was sent to me from Octoly and um, this is the Ultimate Anti-Aging Trio is a $191 value is $99 and it comes with a full size of the Premier Crew Eye Serum, the eye cream right here, which is why I applied for it to begin with. They had the kit and then they also had this by itself and I applied for both of them because I wanted to make sure that I had a chance to at least maybe get one or the other. Anyway, they did approve for me to get this, the kit, and this eye cream is so nice. It just, for one thing, it just takes just a little bit because it's very, very concentrated. And it's very, very um, emollient and hydrating. I like to use it as a night cream on top of a eye serum and the two together just works really good for helping to repair underneath the eyes so I've been enjoying the combination of the two together it also came with the um, a serum I have not used the serum yet and it also has came with called the cream and I haven't used this either. I was most interested in using the eye cream and so far I am very impressed with it and I'm so glad that they did approve me to get the set to try it. So glad to have that and to be using this. So I do have that. And then let's delve into my my Ulta my Ulta bag here. Um, my daughter and I went to Ulta today and did some shopping. We haven't had a girl's day shopping in a very, very long time. And between the two of us, we had, we share an account and we had a lot of points accumulated and we had a 20% off coupon. So we went in and decided to use our, our points and use our 20% off coupon and just have a good old, shopping day and we got a lot of stuff she has already taken her stuff home and I'm going to show you what I got so I got the the Ofra um, staycation little kit here and it has in it a little mini setting spray that looks like this it's the makeup fixer it's just a little mini guy You're probably not gonna be able to see it it's washed out pretty bad but it kind of has, does that have a pink tone to it? Or is that, oh yeah, it does, it's pink. Hmm. It does have a pink tone to it. Let's see, what does that feel like? Oop, <laughs> I kind of, oh, that drenches the face and that is like really heavily perfumed. Hmm, I don't know about that. That has a lot of perfume in it. And I don't like the smell of that, but anyway. And then it has a, what is this? Is this like a lip gloss? I think it's a lip gloss. No, it's a long lasting lipstick. A long lasting lipstick in this color right there. Kind of like a berry color. But the main reason why I got it, I wanted it for this highlighter and it's just a little a little mini highlighter in the color um, Pillow Talk. I've been wanting to try it, so there that is. That's a really heavy swatch, by the way. 
because this is a very intense highlighter. Very intense. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, Janie, hold your hand still so they can see. Let me do it really slow. Turn it. But anyway, so I wanted to give that a try. And this little kit wasn't that expensive. It was on sale. And then you got the discount off of it. So I wanted to give that a try. Oh, man, I've got to get a wipe. Hang on. The next thing I have, now this was sent to me again from Octoly, and this was from Morphe, and this is the 8W Warm Master Blush Palette. This was on my loves list. I was going to get this from Ulta, but when it popped up on the Octoly website, I applied for it, and luckily I was accepted to receive it, which I was so glad because there was some palettes that popped up that I applied for, and they did not accept my proposal to get those and I was like but you you accepted this why didn't you accept that sometimes I don't under I don't understand you know why what the criteria is for some things you know why you get accepted for some things and some things you don't when it's the same brand but anyway but oh those are so pretty very very pretty so there's some of those colors, but I have been very impressed with the Morphe brand as a whole, and you will see that here in a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, you will see that here in a minute. Why? Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff from Morphe. Now this, this right here, I do believe, I think I got this from... Um, Ulta, not Ulta, Sephora. I think I did order this from Sephora because I had some other things that were sitting over there on the floor that I just put in this bag. But anyway, it's the Smashbox Holidays Contour and Spotlight Palette. Had my eye on it and it ended up being on sale like 50% off. So I got it. First of all, the packaging is really, really pretty. But the reason why I wanted it was not necessarily for the face, but I just thought this would make a really pretty eyeshadow palette just for a very neutral, natural eyeshadow palette. Plus, um, to use maybe these colors here just in the crease um, as like a transition colors. I don't know. And I've looked at it, you know, ever since it came out and I thought, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. And then when it popped up, you know, being on sale, like half off, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get it. You know, I've talked myself out of it. Every time I've gone into any store that's had it, I've swatched it. I'm thinking, that looks really nice. I would really like that. And I talked myself out of it. And then I went ahead and got it. So I do have that now. And I do like that. I've used it a couple times. And then today, while we were at Sephora, or Ulta, I mean, I bought the 35M palette from Morphe. So wait till you see this, and it's called the Boss Mood palette. There was another one that I wanted, but they were sold out of it. So I um, got this one. And it has this little, this little guy here that has the name of the shades on it. I wish they would put it on the palette itself, but I will just, um, once I figure out which way it goes, I'll just tape it down onto this lid right here and then I'll have it. But look at these colors. <gasps> look at those greens up there. Aren't those pretty? Those are so pretty. Let's do some swatches. And I hope hope to Bitsy that they work on the eyes as well as they have swatched right here because they are really pretty very very pretty but there they are swatched so I don't know we'll see we'll see so far these palettes that I have purchased have been pretty decent. I mean, there might be a shadow or two in there that's been kind of, mm, but you know, for the price, 
that's okay if there's a, a shadow or two in there that I don't really like or I feel like I don't, you know, like the performance of. Like this eyeshadow right here, this black one, I probably won't use very often, maybe a time or two as an eyeliner, but often than not, I won't use it. Now this purple right here, I wonder how that's going to work. That's really pretty purple. My husband is out mowing. <laughs> How funny. I mean, here it is two days before Christmas and he's out mowing. Now that seems kind of patchy, swatching it. See, but, you know, we might be able to get it to work. I say we like y'all are going to be right here helping me getting it on. Oh, look how it stained my hand. Anyway, I thought it was pretty and I, I was just very drawn to it. So I got it had points so why not and then I got these two guys now I normally don't buy this kind of stuff because there's there's certain people that I don't like to support and um, one is being the Kardashians um, and then there's some youtubers I don't like to buy products because their name is on them and one of them is Jaclyn Hill but I bought these and these have gotten a lot of bad negative reviews but I secretly bought and bought one before and I didn't show it in a haul and everything because I was ashamed because I don't normally support Jaclyn Hill and I kind of like it and I thought it performed decently for me I didn't really have you know bad that bad of a problem with it not like everybody was saying so and I've been looking at these and looking at these I've been wanting them wanting them wanting them and I keep talking myself out of them but I thought I'm gonna get them today I got the points I got 20% off I'm gonna get it so this one is armed and gorgeous and it looks like this here so that is why I got this so I went and got it because I really wanted this green right here now, I don't know. We'll see how it looks on the eye. It swatches okay, but is it going to go on the eyelid okay? I don't know. And we'll see. We'll see how that works. It may or may not work. And it, but surely there's some, surely one of these eyeshadows in here is going to be okay. You know, they, surely not all of them is going to be bad. And if they are, and then, well, then I was the stupid one for not, you know, really believing all of the reviews, right? Then shame on me for not re reading, you know, believing reviews. So I got that one. And then I got this other one. And I really, 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 really wish that Morphe would just cut all ties with collaborations, period and just keep just make all these other palettes that they've been doing and just quit doing all these collaborations with people dark magic is this next one that i got and it looks like this here see and it has a green in it too where is it at right here so in a teal and some of the other colors that I like. So I'm just, I don't know. You know, sometimes even though you've been told you have to, sometimes you just gotta try for yourself. You know, so, but I mean the swatches look pretty, right? So anyway. And to be honest with you, I mean, they're still in stocks. So <laughs> they haven't sold out, so they must be bad. <laughs> they must be bad, but anyway. So, I got them. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. <laughs> anyway, so. Okay, what else did I get? Oh, I got the, the Morphe sponge, makeup sponge. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. This one said it's for the highlight and contour, but I'm going to use it for... Um, I didn't see that it said highlight and contour, but I'm going to use it for um, foundation. 
I didn't read that. I just said, oh, that's the Morphe sponge or why it talks about. Boop, put it in my bag. Anyway, okay. And then I got this Easy Breezy Brow from CoverGirl. It's a little palette thingy. I've been needing a new eyebrow powder because I finished the one that I was using. I didn't really like it, but I was just trying to use it. And I seen this one and it kind of looked like it would be the color I would want. I don't know. It's so hard to tell in packaging, right? And I can't get that open. But it was in the color. Da, 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 da. Soft brown. My natural eyebrow hairs are a very, very light color. And they almost, I wouldn't say that they're gray. Maybe they lean more taupe color. They're just very, very faint. But they have, here lately, have like really thickened up. I cannot get this opened. I don't have anything to open it. There we go. So, oh, oh, okay. There's a little brush in here too with it. I don't know about that. What? There's a little brush. That is like real, that must be to go on the brow bone because it has a little highlighter part right there. And then it has a brush right there. I don't know about that, but I don't know about these two colors. Either, I, either the powders that I look at are either too dark or they're too blonde for me. I mean, why can't they make a, like a light brown? See, and I don't know about those two colors. See, and those look gray. So I don't know. I just don't know. Why can't somebody actually make a light brown? Just a light, light brown. I don't know. I don't know. That's what that looks like. But I don't want them to be too dark. We'll play with it and see. So I'm on the quest because I've used up quite a few eyebrow products here lately. So I'm on the quest to find a new brow product because my brow hairs have really kind of filled in themselves naturally and I am needing something new. Anyway, okay. And then also from Ulta, I got from Essence the I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. I wanted to try that. And the Revolution Renaissance, Rena, Renaissance Flick Liquid Eyeliner. I wanted to try that. So, got that. And then a free gift, um, because we're diamond, was the Tutti Fruity Fruit Cocktail Blush Quad. And this was free. This I had this was in on an uh, online, online order that I had to do and I forgot what I ordered online to get this, but that is what that is. So I will tell you that the Ulta Diamond Perks is a whole lot better than the Sephora Rouge Perks because every month you get a code when you place a online order of $35 or more you get a code to put in for a full-size free gift I mean we don't know what it is every month but so far it's been some really good products and for the December gift it was this a little blush from Too Faced in the Tutti Fruity line and I have been wanting to try these and I didn't have any so glad I waited and did not buy any because that was our free gift for the December month. So, so that kind of blew, the, blows the Sephora perks out of the water. Anyway, and then, of course, Jueva's Place came out with a new eyeshadow palette 
and I went ahead and ordered it. I can't wait when they come out with new ones. I just can't. So I ordered it, and it's called The Tribe by Juevas, and here is the box. I mean, first of all, their artwork for their packaging is just stunning, absolute stunning. And not only is it on the outer packaging, but it's on the palette itself. So they go with all, all out and on the inner packaging as well. So, and their, their palettes aren't expensive at all. They're like $15, $20, and there are the colors. I mean, oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. So pretty. But I will tell you, out of all of the palettes that I have from them, this is probably one that I'm a tad bit disappointed in as far as the pigmentation of it. You would think, by looking at the colors, you would think that it would have a lot of pigment to it. It's just not quite there as much as the other ones are. I don't know. I'm just, and I don't know if they, if they try to come out with it too soon. I don't know. And it could have been just the day that I swatched it. Maybe I just wasn't having a good swatch day. I don't know. Because <laughs> today it looks pretty darn good. So... Anyway, there's just some of the swatches. So I haven't used it on my eyelids yet. So I've just gone by purely by some swatches is all I'm going by. And I wanted to swatch this one color here. This one is like a yellowish, greenish duochrome. It's actually really pretty so again even though maybe some of the colors I don't really like how they've swatched if there's just one or two shades in the palette that I like with the cost of it you know it's okay because they're not expensive and if you look at the cost of some of the single eyeshadows from like MAC and places like that see then it's okay now, if they're all duds, then yeah, it's a waste of money. But if you got, you know, two or three shadows in there that you really like, then it's not, uh, not a waste of money. And then this one I've been wanting. I've been wanting this one. And this one is the Deuce by Duevas. And this one was half off, so it was like $12.50. But I really wanted it for this little pastel pink color and this color here and this color and this color and then this color <laughs> so there was a lot of colors in here i wanted and i've been meaning to order it off of ulta but it's always out of stock on ulta so in uh, most times when Juevas place has a a promo when i've ordered before off of there it's been out of stock but this time it was in stock and i by golly, I was able to get it this time. So, these colors are really pretty, especially going to be for spring. Look at those. Isn't those pretty? I just think those are so pretty. So there we go. So that is. Oh wait, no, I got a couple. Of, I got a couple of other little little goodies to show you that's not makeup before I get into the haul or the um, giveaway gosh we've already been doing the haul um, I found started last year um, collecting Starbucks Starbucks um, Christmas ornaments and so I did get a couple of new ones this year and they're they're just a little um, they're little coffee what are these called? They're little coffee tumblers, I guess. And so I picked out this one. That's a little um, glittery gold. And then this one has got the little flowers. So they're just little ornaments. So I have those. And then I um, have another PR product. Hey, Penny. Penny, 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 Penny. Beanie, 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 beanie. You need to go out now so I can get done. So let me watch a movie. I'm 
stuff on. You may remember a while back I had a haul and these were in a PR. Actually, I did a full face of Pure, Pure Cosmetics, and I had featured these eyeliners, a set of eyeliners. And then I did a favorites video where I again talked about, oops, these eyeliners and how much I liked them. Well, not to Lee, on my free store, the set popped up again. And so I applied for it again and let them know that I was applied for it again because I had already received them. I liked them so much and had featured them on a get ready with me and on a favorites. And I would want to, um, receive them again to have as a giveaway for the end of the year to close out my channel, my 2018 channel with a giveaway. So they accepted and so they sent me the kit again. And so all of these will be going to a winner for 2018, my last giveaway for 2018. So all you have to do is just be subscribed to my channel and just put in the comment um, what your favorite thing was for 2018. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't have to be beauty related. Just anything that was your favorite for the month or for the year of 2018. And then um, we'll make a selection probably around the middle of January, maybe even toward the end of January. We'll make a selection and then announce the winner. So anyway, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas. And if you didn't celebrate Christmas, then I hope you had a really great week. So thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.